First of all, let's install the add-on in Preferences, Add-ons, Install from Disk, and look for the zip file that you downloaded. There are two versions, the free add-on that includes the water shader, some terrains and the boats, and the paid version with more assets, terrains, rocks, and some architecture to create your environments. Ok, so install the zip file. Now here in the viewport, press N, click on water shader, now hit add water, and we need to change to cycles rendering, I recommend to use GPU. For render preview you can activate the noise, and you can use the number of samples that you want. Now we can change to render preview, but we need to light the scene. In world, we can select environment texture and we can add an HDRI so we can have reflections or we can use a sky texture. Now let's go back to render properties. Under film, enable transparent to remove the background. Now select the water and go to modifiers. Here we can control the foam visibility. The foam works with geometry nodes, so if I go to edit mode with face selection, press C and select the faces around the object. Now right click and subdivide. We can increase the number of cuts and now we have a better resolution for the foam. Now in material properties, we can modify the foam scale, also the detail, and here you can find the assets like terrains, rocks, and architecture, like a temple pack, and some wooden houses, and assets for fishing scenes. Let's bring a rock to the scene, select it, click on append, and now, if you want the object to interact with the foam, you need to send it to foam collection. So select the rock, press M in collection, foam. And now we can see the foam around the rock. Something important, if you delete the terrain and the tower, you will see the foam all over the place. Just go to modifiers and set the foam to zero. Or you can add any object to the foam collection to fix it. Now I added a boat here and I want to make the water trail. So I can add a cube, scale it up with S, then X, control A and apply the scale. Now press Ctrl plus 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier and now send it to foam collection. Now here in the outliner hide it from the viewport and from render but the water trail will be still visible. Finally we can customize the water, go to material properties and we can change the scale of the waves. We can also change the strength. Uh, this is the strength of the normal map. Index of refraction should be 1.3 for water and we can pick a different color for the water. As you can see, the more we increase the transparency, the more light can pass through the water. With emission strength and absorption density, we can play with the gradient effect and we can also change the colors and we can turn on and off caustics, change the scale and distortion and we can also change the color. We already seen the foam scale and detail and finally the water is already animated. So if you want to change 
the animation speed, just right click and select Edit Driver. Here in Expression, the lower the value, the faster the animation. So if you want a slower animation, just increase the value. The same for water, caustics and foam animations. Of course, rendering time will depend on your computer. Okay, that's it. Any questions, please let me know. See you.